Okay, the hands, the hands are pretty good. That face. Well, it's the same thing, just different rendering. I was also trying to put like Sam, Sam Altman's face on the avatar, uh, but that didn't work. Okay, so we have this uh, this application. It's not actually running. I have to run it first. Okay, so it's actually showing something on uh, loading the page, which is good. Because before it wasn't. I have a scroller through the file. Yeah, the scroller is not great. But we will sort it out later. First, we want to uh, display, turn it into sound in any possible way. Uh, we are currently using this. Um, what are we using? Web MIDI. And it seemed to work fine. Except GPT 4 doesn't have much information about it. I don't think there's many examples or anything. So that's the JS. It was just recently updated. Just tempting. You want to use something recent. A channel numbers. Um, how long is this thing? It's pretty long. And I don't think GPT has a access to any of it. Can you browse it? Yes, if we are using web MIDI, we need you to be able to manage all this code. It allows you to interact with MIDI devices through your web browser, assuming the browser supports the MIDI API. Okay, it does Chrome. Browser supports uh, web MIDI API. Yes, that's good. Okay, I don't need the rest. We go to security version, how to use the project. We have the um, music, the music conversion thing. It yeah, might need to rewrite the whole thing. Like the logic seemed to be correct, but it's actually not uh, generating. It wasn't generating any files. I have to go over this again. See what's what. NJS. Yeah, let's see what it says. Simplify the code inside the click event to test basic functionality. For example, try playing a single note and then stopping it. JavaScript copy code const output equals web MIDI. Outputs zero. Output play note. Yeah, this is a good start. So where does it go? Just do the testing of the job. Okay, play note didn't work. Hey, where should it go in the code? In the provided script. Okay, it should be in the play MIDI button. Play MIDI. Okay, this is the same. Output. I already have it. Uh, shift up to remove identification. There's an error. That should be right. So we're testing if the web MIDI works at all. So I already have that code. Output zero. I'm not sure about that output. That test. If a comment in it. And I have a timeout, which is important. That would not would not work with it. Yeah, it's actually working except I can't hear anything. It must be that port zero is um, not the correct port, is it? Like everything set up correctly, monitor the browser console. Yeah, so this how to check how many media web media outputs do I have? Be able to do it in the terminal. No, in JavaScript. I already have that on enabled somewhere. There should have just been one. Oh, well, because I'm not getting the sound. Probably I'm getting, it's probably being sent to another audio device. So zero selecting the first one, can select by name, but we don't know the names. Can log all of the devices. This will go in 
to here console log like that there's an error why so we need to finish that function check it again this one doesn't return mini throughput zero that's the one being used but i can't hear anything yeah getting this i can't hear the tone will tell me the problem is with my hearing somewhere so the MIDI app device is listed, no C message indicates the MIDI power is being sent. Verify the output device might not be sound generating device. It's a virtual interface. Ensure you have MIDI synthesizer. What? You're using digital audio workstation. It's not muted. Because I can hear this. If you have access to another MIDI output device or a software synthesizer, try selecting and using it. For instance, if you're using a DAW, ensure it's properly configured to receive MIDI signals and play them back. So I thought that would be done in the browser. Some MIDI devices might not listen on MIDI channel 1, which is being used in your playlist call. Try sending MIDI messages on different channels, as the device might be listening on a different channel. You don't need any like permissions. It's a deprecated feature where MIDI will ask a permission to use even if the CSX is not specified in the MIDI options but it didn't ask for permission control F5 should have played a C tone for that many seconds it didn't if you have a MIDI keyboard or controller try using it to play notes on your sound module or software instrument if you're software. using a browser that fully supports the web MIDI API like Google Chrome or Microsoft test the functionality in a different browser as a cross check can I test it in another, with another tool? Is there another tool online where I can check the MIDI output? Yep. Let's see what this says. Yes, there are online tools and resources that can help you check and debug MIDI output. These tools can be particularly useful for verifying if your MIDI devices are properly connected and communicating with your computer. Here are a few options. Web MIDI API tools. There are various online tools that utilize the Web MIDI API to test MIDI devices. Ensure you have a software synthesizer installed that can receive MIDI messages and produce sound. Popular options include Fluid Synth, Dimidity, or Virtual Instruments within a door, Digital Audio Workstation, like LMMS or other. Double command to run Fluid Synth with a sound font. Fluid Synth at Pulse Audio slash path slash to slash sound from .sf2. Check if your MIDI output is correctly routed to synthesize. You can use command line tools like a connect to list and connect MIDI ports. The only warning I get is this one. It didn't actually ask for permission, so maybe that's the problem. System exclusive messages. Deprecation notice. Previously, Chrome only prompted users for permission if SysX access was requested. The warning suggests that Chrome will start asking for permission to use MIDI, regardless of whether SysX access is requested or not. This change is to enhance security and user privacy. Okay. Review your code. Check if you're using SysX messages. If your application doesn't need them, make sure to explicitly set the SysX flag to false for enabling web MIDI. In WEBMIDI, JS, you can specify this in the enable method. The enable method is C6 false. Control F5, still get it. User consent UI. Be prepared to implement a user consent interface if your application requires MIDI access. This is good practice for user privacy and aligns with web security standards. We're playing them in two places. Yeah, I already did it a couple of times, but first of all, we have that play. A going on happening twice. Maybe that's the issue. We only need it once. Given that the play EEG music button successfully logs note on C in the console but does not produce any sound, this suggests that the MIDI messages are being sent correctly, but the sound generation part is not functioning as expected. This scenario typically occurs when the MIDI output is not properly configured or the browser is not routing MIDI messages to a sound producing entity. Here's a step by step approach to troubleshoot and fix this issue. Ensure that Web MIDI outputs zero refers to a MIDI device that can produce sound. This could be a software synthesizer or a physical MIDI instrument connected to your computer. Check if this output device is properly configured to receive MIDI messages and produce sound. First, you'll want a list of available MIDI devices to confirm that your system recognizes your MIDI output device. Install ASEQ DUM, a tool for viewing MIDI events, if you haven't already. If you're using a web application that sends MIDI messages, like through Web MIDI API, open Google Chrome or another browser that supports Web MIDI API. Navigate to your web application and test if MIDI messages are successfully sent to your MIDI output device. Found 14, MIDI through, this is a virtual MIDI port that can be used to route MIDI messages between different clients on your system. 
MIDI through PORT0. Is showing connections to and from client 138, which could be a software synthesizer or another MIDI application. Since there's no mention of a specific hardware MIDI device or a recognizable software synthesizer, like Fluid Synth or Community++, it's possible that your actual MIDI output device is not listed. This could be due to several reasons. The device is not recognized by the system. If it's a USB MIDI device, try reconnecting it or using a different USB port. For hardware synthesizers or MIDI interfaces, ensure they're powered on and correctly connected. Yes, you can generate tones and play music directly within the Chrome browser on Ubuntu without any additional hardware or software installations. However, instead of using a web MIDI API, which primarily sends MIDI messages to external synthesizers or software instruments, you would use the Web Audio API, a powerful browser-based system for audio processing and synthesis. Here's a basic outline of how you can generate tones using the Web Audio API in JavaScript. The audio context is the primary object of the Web Audio API, and it manages and plays all sounds. Oscillators generate tones at specific frequencies, while the A nodes control the volume. Set the type of waveform and frequency for the oscillator. For example, a sine wave at 440 Hz, A4 node. Connect the oscillator to the gain node and the gain node to the audio context destination speakers. Start the oscillator to play the sound and stop it after a duration. Here is a complete example that plays a tone for one second where a button is clicked. 